cold as ice and a heart made of stone But she keeps me alive, she's the beast in my bones She gets everything she wants when she gets me alone Like it's nothing She got two little horns and they give me a little What's up my SC Fit followers? SC Fit Chick coming to you. Today is April the 30th and tomorrow, May 1st, I start paleo. Part of me is like, yay! And part of me is like, boo! Yeah, it's a bittersweet kind of thing. So, let's take it back a little bit. So, I would say probably November, I really started to be more flexible, and when I'm more flexible with my eating, I have a tendency to sometimes become overly flexible. <laughs> so, uh, it was around the holidays, you know, it was Thanksgiving, it was Christmas, um, I wanted to be able to go to those social events, those social gatherings without feeling restricted or feeling guilty afterwards. And, you know, there's a lot of sweets that people bring to you. And then with all of the schedules, you just can't make it to the gym as often. So that is what happened. And I wasn't too hard on myself because I got myself in the mindset ahead of time that that would be okay. So I am all right with that. Um, then came the new year and there were some unexpected changes, but I was happy to go with the flow there. So my schedule at work has really fluctuated. Um, there was training and so I was going in really early in the morning, which I am not a morning person. Just not a morning person. So it was very hard for my body to adjust to that. Actually didn't even really adjust. So <laughs> it got really mad at me, if anything. Um, so it was hard for me to to eat, um, I was like a walking zombie. I was just tired all the time. So I would try to make it to the gym, um, but then one day I would make it to the gym, and then the second day I would make it to the gym, and then I would be exhausted for the rest of the week. So I wasn't making it to the gym consistently. I felt like I was starting to get back on track, and then bam, I got a new job. So <laughs> with my new job, which I'm really excited about and I absolutely love, um, with that obviously came change as well. So again, a change in the schedule, a change in um, not only hours, but also being flexible with going to different locations for training. So I've been kind of all over the map and not knowing if they have a refrigerator or a microwave. Um, I haven't been able to really plan ahead for those things, so I've had to um, eat out a little bit more, and um, I haven't been, again, working out as consistently as I usually would, so everything has just been chaotic and up in the air and off track. And that's okay. It's okay to have those times in your life. Um, and I still feel that I'm beautiful. Now I have my up days and my down days. But I did start to notice over the last couple of weeks that uh, my pants are fitting a little bit tighter and I'm not quite liking um, the way that I look as much as I used to. So um, also looking back at photos from a year ago, I can really see a big change. Um, and not necessarily in a positive way. So I am really wanting to get back to where I was a year ago and maybe even into a better place than I was a year ago. So I'm getting ready to start this paleo challenge tomorrow. I'm very excited about it today. Now the not so exciting part <laughs> was taking the before pictures today um, and taking my measurements and wow, um, I don't remember the last time that I was as high of a weight as I am right now. Um, so it, it's been a while since I've been at this weight and then it's been a while since I've been this high in body fat percentage. So looking forward to making those changes and really um, honing in on the nutrition and seeing the changes in my body again. So um, what I'm gonna do is actually do 
30 days of paleo to begin with. So after the 30 days, I'll reassess um, how I'm feeling, how I'm doing, because when I am more flexible with things and I, if I fall off track, for me and my mindset, something really restrictive to get me started back on the habitual um, eating clean or eating better is to actually have something really strict. So I have found that that's most effective for me in the past. Um, it, what I've done in past years is usually Whole30 and just doing some research since then and also learning what I have from my past Whole30s. I'm not going quite as strict as Whole30. I'm going to go with the paleo, but I do want something that that is very structured um, and I find that that will make me to be more successful with my you know, eating plans going forward. So that is what I'm going to do. So again, I'll be doing that for 30 days and then I'll reassess after the 30 days. So I've spent the whole weekend all grocery shopping and food prepping and I'm all ready. So tons of vegetables, a little bit of fruit, um, grilled chicken and some ground lean turkey. So that is what is on the menu this week. Uh, I know that it's going to be a roller coaster as it usually is. It's going to be really up and down. So first few days are usually pretty easy for me. And then after that, I can start to have some cravings and get a little bit grouchy and you know, your hormones kind of fluctuate through things as your body is kind of detoxifying. So I've already warned my loved ones that yes, this probably will happen. I apologize in advance, but knowing that that's also how I get, I'm going to be as aware of it as possible and try to keep myself in check so I'm not unnecessarily hurting others' feelings or saying things that I shouldn't. So I'm gonna really try to keep that in. One thing that I really hope that I can do, but I can't make any promises, I'm going to try to record um, at least a couple times a week, if not daily, just each, like how everything's going, how I've been feeling, if I've been having cravings. Again, I can't make any promises, but this is a hope that I have, and I really hope a lot of hopes. <laughs> I'm really hoping that I can stick with that so I can give you guys an update and I invite you to come along for the ride, join me with Paleo or whatever plan it is that you have going on and I will, again, if I can put those updates in there, even if you don't start it for a couple weeks or if this is even a year later that you're seeing this, that way you can follow along and just see what to expect because a lot of times people don't realize what is going to change, um, how things are going to change and how much is going to affect you. I know that in the past when I've done Paleo or Whole30, um, there's also times where there's some inflammation that happens as well as a lot of bloating and a lot of people will think that things are getting worse and so they'll stop doing it. So that's one of the reasons that I kind of want to do a weekly update or, or maybe even every few days so you guys can kind of see how the process is going. Well, just wanted to get, uh, get you guys updated and tell you I appreciate all of your love and support with everything. Um, if you are struggling with your weight or would like to see any changes in your body, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button on this video. And thanks so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll check you next time.